Hey Taurus, welcome to your July monthly reading. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what is going on for you this month. If you happen to be new or if you aren't returning, you massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and you become a part of our collective. The way that we do these readings is we um, pull out three cards for career finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. And then I dive deeper into um, love and romance at the very end here, okay? Um, we like pull oracles. We do all sorts of stuff. Okay. All sorts of giddy stuff. So just sit back, relax. Okay. Go get yourself. Why is this crooked? Sorry. <laughs> I don't like when it's crooked. It bothers me. Okay. Let's get your cards out here. Oh, okay. Wow. That wanted to really come out there. Um, that's surrender to the sweetness, Venus, energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. And interestingly enough, you got Ishel as your amulet from Starseed Jewels. If you want to pick that up. Michelle is an amulet all about joy, optimism, love, hopeful expectation, abundance, excitement, all the high vibrational emotions that help you to manifest and call in what you desire with ease. Here we have opposition, complement, duality, dependence, differentiation, objectivity, oscillation, interaction. And then we have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So here's a couple of key themes that I am seeing for you for your career and your finances this month. There is going to be a lot of conversation or focus on the material part of your life, your financial stability, your wealth, your luxury, your material possessions, um, your savings, your investments, maybe properties, like all of that stuff's really going to be illuminated. However, I have to tell you this. It's really important that you know this, Taurus, with the devil and the five of wands, it's almost like there's something here like an obsession almost, or like an addiction to reaching some sort of goal. And I love the tenacity. I love the drive. I love the perseverance. I caution you where it becomes toxic and debilitating. Okay. Because yes, you absolutely deserve to attract and ca uh, manifest cash flow with ease, but be ethical about it. Okay. This is about you building that financial stability, that financial security in your life through tuning into the Venetian energy, which is making love to life, being in the pleasure, being in the luxury, being in the joy, okay? And knowing how to um, call in like Aphrodite would, okay? And if you know how Aphrodite would call in, she calls in through her clamshell, like a magnet, okay? Got it, good. I'm glad you picked up what I was putting down. Opposition, complement duality, dependence. Okay, in astrology, an opposition is when two planets are 180 from each other. And they kind of like magnets, okay? So if we can think about these two planets, they, they pull together, but they pull apart. They don't necessarily dance well together, okay? They can feel like two magnets that are being proverbially forever, eternally pulled apart, Okay, but there's still that like energetic tie of like them coming together, pulling apart. Okay, when that happens, okay, you may find yourself experience some sort of interaction. And while it could be nice, it could also feel a little bit cumbersome or mm, like you, you have to like learn to navigate, you know, and MacGyver your way through it, okay? With the King of Swords, the world, and the star card, this is really beautiful energy here for the general overall themes. The King of Swords is telling me that you're very logical, very rational, very practical, um, very analytical, maybe even to like an extent a little bit critical, but here you are really cutting through a lot of the BS and going after what you desire without fear, without, um, you know, without criticism, without judgment, without anything. You're just like, I'm going after it. With the world and the star here, there is a cycle that is wrapping up for you in your life. You have three major arcana. Um, if you've taken my tarot certification or if you want to, it's in the description box below. You'll learn that more major arcana in a reading means more life pivotal changes. Three is three, okay, out of nine cards. So there are going to be some changes in your life. I think there is a cycle that is beginning for you, one that's wrapping up and one that's beginning around your finances, around healing, around your self-worth, around your self-love. Like maybe you're learning how to have confidence in yourself. Maybe you're learning how to trust yourself. Maybe you're signing up to my Align course. It's in the description box below. That's all about learning how to gain the confidence, the clarity, and the empowerment to manifest your dreams, okay? With patience here, I will tell you that all this work you're putting into does not go unnoticed by the universe. So please don't feel like you're doing all this stuff for nothing. You're not doing all this stuff for nothing. It's all working out for your highest good. 
let's dive into this Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Seven of Cups energy, okay? We've got the Five of Swords here. Yep. Oh, boy. What else we got here? We have the Knight of Cups, okay? And we have, I think this might be the Sun, but let me double check because this deck is a little bit different. All right. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups. You may feel like you're putting in a lot of work when it comes to your love life, Taurus, and not really reaping the rewards. Again, I'm going to tell you, be like Venus. Be like Aphrodite. Call in what you desire, okay? Without desperation, without addiction, without codependency, without like feeling like you're um, needing to fulfill a void, but rather call it in because it's what you desire, okay? Venus or Aphrodite, once she wants something, she gets it. Like that's, that's how she rolls, okay? And you should know that. All right. You should know that because you're ruled by Venus. So we have the five of swords here in your love life. Let me peep here and tell you what the five of swords is all about. Sorry, that is raven hair. Okay. Mm, a duel. And it says, Swan Lake, the soul cries. It was humiliated, but does not want to admit it. It regrets the time of forgiveness not granted. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. There could be somebody here who you may have had your eye on, or they may have their eye on you. They may really desire you. You may really desire them, but there is some sort of wall in the way. And like the egos are really, really kicking in here. And what I would suggest to you, Taurus, is if you like that person, go and tell them, make the gesture. Okay. Don't feel like you've been humiliated. Don't feel like there's ego at play here. This person like probably wants to be with you as much as you want to be with them. And it might be worth a try. Okay. With the Knight of Swords or Knight of Cups here showing up. Let me get you the cups. The Knight. Hi, ma'am. The Knight of Cups here. It says, hold your cups high. Those who play against themselves lose and win at the same time. And love, gain, and loss are two sides of the same coin, art, and then the Page of Wands. Yeah. Please, if you are a try, I am with Ace of Cups. If you are attracted to somebody just because shit hit the fan last time or things didn't go how you planned or like, you know, maybe the math, I don't know, like it, this makes me feel like you're very, you and this person have like strong egos. You're very confident in yourself and this person and you became very vulnerable and it might have been like, Ooh, I don't like how I'm feeling here, but like, it's not bad. It's just, this is how you two, like you need to see each other in that way. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Okay. And then let's get into this last card, which is, what is it? The sun. I was right. Did I say the sun? I think I said the sun, right, Taurus? Yeah. It says, the hour of truth, the time has come to face the truth. The things of love become clear. The light will be long lasting. Clarity and the two of cups. Seven of cups. Yeah. Look, if you like this person, please tell them that you like them. Just put it out there. You don't have to be a weirdo about it. Just let them know. Make the gesture of love. Be kind. Be gentle in your embrace, okay, or in your words. Be Taurus. Be Venus. And don't, and that softness that you have, uh, Taurus, that will go a long way. And if this person can honor that, great. You guys can start something together. And if this person doesn't honor that, then they weren't the one anyways. You know, like that's the mindset to have in this situation. Your role this month is to stay optimistic, to stay on the frequency of joy, to release these fears, these addictions, um, these limiting beliefs, okay? And to focus on what you want to really cultivate in your life long term. I'm going to pop this video here to help you out. If you want to book a session with me, you want to work with me in any capacity, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. It's all in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.